Okay, hi. And welcome to my session, Chas Chumla. Um, I've done a similar session last year, Chumla Day Germany, and this year, Chumla Day Germany with another part. So I combined the two of them to some make something new, kind of new out of it. Yes, so if you have seen one of my sessions already, you might know some parts, but yeah, not in English so far. <laughs> okay, um, about me. Um, yeah, my name is Sigrid. Uh, my company's name is Webgras. Um, I started to use Joomla for websites in 2005, 2006. And one of my first big web websites was the uh, like public garden show. Um, and I competed with some like really big agencies. Uh, at that time I got it mainly because I was cheaper than the other ones, but I said I couldn't do everything and it worked out. And it was my first big project with Joomla. Yeah, and since then I, I stayed with it because I always figure out I can do everything with Joomla. I don't need any other system. So, um, and I went to Joomla Day Germany and Jane Beyond and I was always the only Austrian. So at one point I decided I need to change that. There need to be some other people in Austria using Joomla. So uh, I found it with two other ones, the Joomla user group in Vienna um, about two years ago. Um, yeah, and last year we had the first Joomla Day, as you all know by now. <laughs> yeah, and I've done parts of the session already. Um, just Joomla. Um, yeah, for me it's important to use only as few extensions as possible um, because it makes upgrading much easier and there's, yeah, it's just easier and the security reasons, uh, risks are less. So um, at one point um, in, in old Joomla versions, um, at one point you would always do like core hex and there was an update and then you had to I don't know, go through the whole system and check, ah, there was something and how did I make a comment or some documentation and I had to do everything again. Or yeah, so that was really a hassle and when the update routine became more easy with Joomla, so since then I really decided just to stick with Joomla and if it's not there, but then it doesn't work, but I'm not going to do a core hack, so. Um, yeah. And the other great thing that was there was overrides. So now you can use overrides for, for languages, for templates, for layouts, so for many things. Um, that really um, doesn't need to do any, any core hacks and can, you can still do everything and yes. So that it doesn't look like this. <laughs> yeah. That's still a 2.5 version. I think it's still online. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's not my installation anymore. Okay, so, and how can you do that? So you should be creative. So try to think what's, what is it what the client really needs? What's the focus? Um, and also what's the, what's the structure requirements? I once had a, um, um, the, the task to do like a, um, word of wisdom every day so the client wanted to have small images and they should be like um, randomly ordered so if you click on one there should be another uh, like that comes up with uh, like wisdom or I don't know um, fairness and there was a description and um, there I was working with a developer and he started to do like this whole new thing but not like a real extension and then we found out um, after quite some time that we could just use the Joom gallery uh, because it was like small thumbnails and a pop-up and we could all do all the thumbnails the same image so uh, we're just doing a uh, template overrides and we had the whole thing done in like four hours and before that he was yeah, I don't know he wanted to do coding for I don't know 12 to 18 so this was yeah that was also a, a when I found out okay um, usually there's already somebody else had the problem so you just have to find how to solve it and also very similar functions uh, maybe in another context, like a gallery for something, also images, but something else. And what are common use cases? So um, if there's something someone is already using, and uh, yeah, try to figure out if you can can do the same thing. Um, and usually th uh, the, the best ideas don't come up when you are right there, sitting in front of your computer. Just get up, go for a walk, or do something, go shopping, whatever, and then the, the ideas just come by 
by chance usually. So when you're not thinking in the, in the at least for me it works really, really well. Okay, and now my the example I wanted to show today is um, um, a simple seminar calendar. Um, but I will um, that's the same example like in the German one, but I will try to enhance it and to add some more functionality. So what does a seminar calendar need? Um, because I, I looked in the Joomla extension directory and they have like 100 event extensions, but sometimes um, like small companies, they only need to have the, I don't know, they have five events a year and they want to show it like a seminar or like events, but they don't need like the whole big, um, I don't know, complete full calendar extensions. So the basic, the things they, they want or they need is like a title of the seminar, what's the name, to have like a date and a time where you would start, to have the trainer, uh, a description, an image, a search form, if it's more than just five, maybe 10 or something, and to do some kind of sorting. So what you could use in Joomla for that? Um, like the seminar would be just a normal Joomla content article, the title of the seminar, the, the article title, date and time, the created date, and there's the first special thing that the created state usually Joomla when you make a new item an uh, article, then it um, at the time it uses the timestamp from right now, but you can um, override this and uh, insert a date in the future. There's no consequences in the system, not like publish, publish up or publish down. That has a consequence, but the create state doesn't have a consequence, so you can use that. You, you can set it for the 10th of January 2017 or something. Uh, for the trainer, <coughs> um, we want to keep it simple. So we don't want to, the, the, the trainers, they are doing only one seminar. So you don't want to really create a user. Um, but you want to have it look like a user. And there's the field that's called created by Elias. It's just been, uh, beside the, the uh, created, the, the user who created the um, the content item, because when I create the content item, it's my user, the creator. Uh, and just beside there, you can add the created by Elias. You use a text field, so you can write anything. You can write any name you want. Um, yeah, the content, description, image, um, it's all there. And the author filter and the table filter. So for start, um, I just, um, you just need to create like a category, seminars. I added three items. And I made a menu item, articles category list, because I want a list with things. And then it would just look like this. So I have the title. It looks like author written by super user, because I was a super user. And the hits. So that's not perfect. So we need to do some um, adjustments. So you would add uh, some um, properties in the, in the menu item. You can do it right there because you want to just do it for the seminars and maybe you want to you don't want to do it for all category lists, all menu items. And the interesting thing is you can just um, use the you can use the created date here, the date to show, and the date format would be day, month, year, hour and minutes, because usually it only shows the, the date, so like tenth of January. And I want to hide the 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 hits. I don't mind about this. Um, then you would do some um, language overrides for the, for the title of the table um, and also for the filter field. And we don't want to have the created date. Uh, we want to just have a date and time. We want the, don't want the written by super user. We only want the alias. So we'll just use that was written by percent s and was would edit. Then we want the, the author. We want to change to trainer so we can also change that just for front end and the seminar title would be the, the title of the um, if you want to use that uh, don't use want to use that for the whole Joomla site you can change in the template and and make your own um, language string there and oh, yeah add that so then it would look like this you have the seminar title you have the filter for the trainers you have the date and time um, you have changed that in the menu item and the trainer that's already the created by Elias. In the first few, I didn't have it in the back end. So, so that's my menu. I mean, basically everything's there. It took me like 10 minutes to set it up to, to have everything. I have a small list. I can filter it. I can change the, the headings and to change the sorting. So that's that's it. What, what else would be nice to have? 
it's like upcoming seminars. I want to show it on every page, not only on the menu item. So there's the module articles category, which is a really useful module. You, I used for many different things and used uh, template overrides. Um, there's a few settings um, you need to change, of course, the, the category. Um, and actually, you want to hide um, past seminars. So you have to go for the filtering options and set the relative date at the created date. And the relative date should be one. So that's one past day. But it will show all future events and the one until like today or yesterday. So the, the uh, past events will just disappear. Um, yeah, of course, you have the, the created date for, for I want to sort from by the date. Uh, and I want to go again, I want to show the date format. I will change that here again. And I want to show the author. And then it would look like this. Okay, I had on uh, before I only had this one. Now I have the author, the date, and the time. And it's just some little um, CSS code. Not even an override, just some ESS, CSS code. You can make it look like this. I mean, that's from, for most small websites, that's really enough to just have the title. It's linked to have the date, the time, and they disappear when they're um, over. So that's it. And a nice thing now, like I, I have it in here, it's the like for the protostar template now for I think since 3.2.3.5, you can use the user CSS and it's um, it's not overwritten when you update the template because before when you do uh, adjustments into template CSS or even if you added a user CSS and imported it into template as CSS, with the next update it would be overwritten and all your changes would be gone and you have to go back. So I. Uh, for the change that I showed you, it would be only like three um, CSS um, elements you have to, to configure. Okay, and there's also a, um, in the extensions Joomla, is in, in the Joomla extensions directory, they actually have a blog I found out when I was preparing for it. They have some nice tips on how to use um, just Joomla for core things that you might not know from um, uh, just like this. And they also have the, the user CSS in Protostar there. So for a seminar calendar, so what, what would also be nice is um, like products. Uh, people who bought this product might also are interested in this product. You can do that with the um, seminars or Joomla articles as well. So there's a module that's called articles related. It's there for, I think it was there in 1.5 or even 1.2. And it's actually, it's linking the meta keywords in from content articles, and it makes a connection. Um, so it's like the normal meta keyword that's in the HTML code. Um, I have the three seminars, and if I add the uh, meta keywords, yeah, for example, the two like communication and general management have the tag Meta keyword management, so they would be connected. Um, you have the seminar calendar, and if you edit the, the module, I know that's the content item. So it's in, like in publishing, you just have to change the meta keywords. Um, you don't need the tags, because then you have, when you use the tags, the Joomla core tags, then you have these new views in Joomla. So you have to, when, when, when people click on the link, so sometimes you maybe don't need that at all, so then just use the meta keywords. You have the module articles related. And the result is, if you go to the seminar, communication, then you see another interesting seminar for you is the general management. And if you go there, you would see the, the, the communication seminar because they are connected to the meta keyword. Uh, management. So, in case um, sometimes, yeah. <coughs> if the if there is no uh, uh, matching yeah. article, will it still say another interesting seminar for you? No, oh. it's not visible. Uh, yeah. So you can publish it on all on all on your whole website. It's only showing when there is when there is connection. I I tested. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> yeah. Is does it show the text or still the module? Well, most of the modules keep hidden in the code, 
even if it doesn't display any uh, yeah. text, and then you will always have the sidebar if you don't need it. No, I don't think so. It's really, it's really. Hidden. I mean, we can. I have done the on the. I can check later and can tell you. Uh, I don't think it is. So another thing that would be uh, necessary to do in here, you still have <coughs> the, the publish date and you want the create date. So you still have to change that in the options and to maybe make a language override for created date to do it like seminar date or the bar or whatever. So there's still some things to adjust. Yeah, but with this seminar calendar, I mean, there's more ideas to do that. Um, it would be nice to have a, a link to the trainer from the seminar. I just wrote the, um, uh, the author, Elias, created by Elias. Uh, there's just a text written there, so there's no function behind that. So if I want to connect the trainers, um, I also need to use the users to connect that. Um, it would be also nice that if, I, if I link the trainer to show the details of the trainer, maybe he's doing some more. Um, seminars, so that would be now not a very small thing, but it would, you could grow the whole thing. To show the seminars for each trainer, to add seminars by trainers, even in front end. So they log in, they register, they log in, they submit a Joomla item, and they could um, add their own seminars. So, um, so far we o I only used the, the created by Elias, and I'm going to show now um, how you could do the link, because then you would need the Joomla users and to use the Joomla users and to use it in the front end to the link to like the user profile, you have to use contacts. Um, the thing is Joomla, um, when I prepared the, the, the presentation, the session, I thought that's working by fault. You create a, a user, you link it to the item and then you click on the, on the trainer link and then you come to the profile, but that's not enough. Because um, for the for in Joomla, the users, they are only for access rights, they're organized in user groups, they are logging for front end and of course for the back end. Um, they can register themselves, so you do it through the back end. There, but there's no front end list, so you can't show a list of your uh, trainers, for example. Um, only through a module like um, the latest uh, trainers, but if you have like 20, you could turn it on 20 and everybody's there. The maintenance uh, is through the user and they have like the user profile you can use from the default, not only like email or, or password, you also have some more fields. And the Joomla contacts. Um, Joomla users are for access rights. Um, the Joomla contacts are content elements. So they're um, like a content article. L um, you have the cont content elements as contacts. You can use them through menu items. Um, and connect it. Yeah. Joomla users are organized in user groups. Joomla contacts are in uh, normal, like Joomla categories. Joomla contacts don't have a front end login, so you can't um, let the people um, change their own um, details. You have to do that in the front end, uh, in the back end for them, or give them back end access. Um, you cannot create them in the front end, but you can have different, it's like content uh, content articles, so you can use different kind of lists and categories and, and, and structure. And you, the contacts you can only maintain, maintain through the back end, and, but you, of course you can use like a contact form, you can do that for the users. So there's the, it's quite different functions and different things to use. So, um, but they're not directly, they're connected. Um, there's um, a connection from the user to the contact, uh, but there's no synchronization. You can do, actually can auto create them. So what we want to do is from the, from the trainers, we want to make that a link. So what we need to do is to auto create a trainer, whenever I, I, I add a new user, I automatically want to create a, a contact. I also want to, to active, you have to activate the link to the trainer, to the authors, and you have to show, the, or I want to show the articles, the seminars per trainer. So if I li click on the trainer, I want to show what, what other seminars they are doing. So what you have to do actually is to um, activate the, 
plugin user contact creator. That's a uh, default plugin. Um, and there's the option to automatically publish the contact. Otherwise, they are just there, but not published, and then it doesn't work. Um, you also have to, for the articles and the, and the, and the global options, you have to um, activate the link to the author. Uh, because if you only activate the link to the author, and so now there's a, it's linked, but uh, no, it's not even linked, but you, you activate it, but it's not linked. So it's still no, no possibility to click on it. <coughs> so for the contact and the options, you have to scroll down and there will be the, in the context, you have the, the like in the Truma standard, you have the address and everything, but to show the, the articles um, and the profiles, you have to activate that. And you also have to publish the user profile. Um, if you, in the user profile, um, that's also the default thing. Usually the, the Joomla user only has um, username, email, and password. And if you activate the plugin user profile, there's more fields like address one, address two, zip code, country, website, stuff like this. So um, you should decide there which fields you want to use and disable the others, otherwise it's too much. And you also can override, with language override, the address fields, for example, to company or organization. So now, if you create a new user, the contact is created, um, and if you create a new seminar uh, for that um, user, then it would look like this in the front end. Like there's the James Miller, I have the contact, contact form, I have articles and profiles, but it's not very um, nice to show. So, but I'll go now to the website and show you. Um, the result should be something like this. I have the profile data. I have the address and I have the seminars, like that's the communication seminar. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show now the stuff because there's something more to go. Okay, so here we have the seminar list. We have the general management and the James Miller. And if we click on it, I have the profile and the seminars. And if I click here on the communication, then I'm there. Um, I can go, go back to the author and everything. Um, in the back end, I wanted to show the... I have the user, James Miller, and if I create a new one now, do it as an author and if I save then I also have the component a contact that's automatically created and published and now I can in the content articles for first aid for example in the publishing options uh, they were still the created by Elias I want to remove that and I will set the trainer to this one and save and close. And now if I go here to the seminars, I have Susanna Müller here. I see that that's her seminar and it's the profile. So if, I mean, I can, re uh, new, I already set it up so that people can register. So new trainers can register. I'll show that. Um, Test. 
So down here you can see now the user profile. That's the fields from Joomla standard. Um, and here we have the, the address field, for example. Um, the city, the postcode, um, I changed that. I have can fill in something. That would be Stadtplatz 5 in, I don't know, somewhere in Austria. Yeah, you can register that. That's because I don't have that, it's only on local host. But if I log in now, um, I now I uh, already added a, the, a menu item for the to add a new um, article. So that Tom can add new seminars. So I can do that here. Um, yeah, so the people can register, can add the new seminars, and the client have a simple like seminar system. They don't have to think about a lot. Uh, people can, can do their own stuff. And yeah. Okay, and that's also for, for people who don't want to do a lot, the, the easy editing, the front-end editing of seminars. There's actually, you can, can make an override for the front-end edit form, because it, if it's not easy, people don't use it, and they email you, can you please add a new seminar? So actually, um, Sandra did a very nice session, and also an, an article in the Joomla magazine, how to um, uh, easily create, like the, how to change the front-end form for people, um, so if, if you do that, then it would be even easier for the people to add seminars if you want to keep it as simple as possible, right? So that's the normal front-end form. Uh, you have all the, um, oops, you have all the um, tab, tabs up there, images, links, publishing, language, meta, and the normal trainer who wants to submit a, a, a seminar, it's just too much. So if you use the, like the template override from Sunday, it could look like this. You just have the title on the top. You have um, just the text. You can use uh, just the, the status publish, visible for public, start publishing. You can change that to the seminar date, for example, this language overrides in the front, in the, in the just one image, not two images. Um, instead of the text, we could um, add the uh, meta keywords, for example. And it's just everything's on one page, you click save and you're done and you have an easy front-end editing. Um, another a nice thing that will come with uh, version 3.7, we heard about it, it'll be the custom fields. And actually as you have the, the, the trainers and you, maybe you get more trainers, they show their profiles, you can see maybe then they have like done 10 seminars and they have them all on their profile site. Um, so, but if you want to have like trainer images, um, stuff like this, like a small community site, um, Alon has on a, on a actually a description on his website how to do uh, a member site with Joomla Core, and right now it's DP Fields, but it will be Joomla Core, how to add um, things. So that's also way to go, we have to wait for a bit, but that will also help a lot for simple tasks like this. Um, yeah, and some other idea for events in Joomla could be um, instead of authors and contacts, you could use it as a location. So if you want to, you're like you're, cons you're doing concerts, uh, but they're, you're organizing concerts, but they're in different locations, you could use the contact as a location and you could also link that. Um, then you would have with the meta keywords, you could have a um, other events in the same location, so you could that one just with the with the module um, and it's linked. Yeah, show the same events. Or if you want to do it not with a, like Elias, you can do a location for each um, a, a location, a user, and also a and link it for the article, of course. Yeah. 
yeah, and you can see them with the context or the location, how many uh, concerts are there. Yes, that's actually it. That's my condensed version. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Yeah, good then. Thanks a lot for All is clear. Everything's clear, yeah. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> okay. Everybody's tired already. Maybe mm -hmm. just what I said. If you go to the page where you don't have any uh, other related articles, is really the full code of the module disappearing or, or only the okay. text? Okay, yes. But if, because when the full code is still available, you will always have a sidebar even when non-information is in the sidebar. Articles related? Yeah, yeah. Pages is published. No, that's okay. Maybe there's no keywords. There is similar seminars, mm -hmm. and if you click on it, so now we go to the first aid. <coughs> oh, it's really small. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Can I zoom down here? No, but it. No, but there's. No, there's no HTML code. It's well, just this module, two. Modules, just yeah, no, this one is really not there. Okay. Because most of the time, the problems with all the Joomla modules, they still yeah, that's keep yeah, pushing yeah. out the HTML. No, that that one's not there. I also I I did that for a client some like three or four years ago. And we also would show the um, the description of the seminars, like in a, in a module underneath the list, and then we had the the alias. We were, we had a link to the alias, and it would scroll up and down. So they were really happy about this um, to have it so easy, and it was Joomla standard. Okay. Yes.